All right, welcome back to the garage. Today's project is going to entail creating a uh, motorcycle helmet rack against the wall where I can mount my helmet rather than putting on a shelf, taking up shelf space. And plus, I think it looks really cool uh, if you've got a nice helmet to display it on the wall. I made a prototype a couple of days ago, and I'll show you that at the end, but what I'm going to try to do is make the same thing again, except uh, take a little more time and try to make it better. But here's the plan. I've got a lot of, uh, well, a little bit of regular chain uh, left over from my lights when I hung my lights in the garage here. So what I'm going to try to do is weld this in place. And this is the basic layout. There's going to be a circle here, and this is the part where the helmet's going to, inside of the helmet, or the crown of your head, will will rest here. And then I'm going to use this scrap of, of round bar, and just, I'm going to cut it off right here, just to use this piece. And so that'll be in the middle, and then I'm going to have... A straight piece. This will be my this will be my straight piece here. It'll be welded to the bottom of that round bar, and then this will be perfectly straight. And then I'm going to use uh, some of my half links here to start a gradual fish hook. It'll end up something like this, and I won't I won't weld this this last link so I can align it better on the wall. And then I'm going to use this uh, expand expandable bolt right here into the wall and affix the entire thing to the wall with on this last link. So that's the plan this morning. Let's get to it. On the prototype that I did a few days ago, I just kind of winged it. just kind of held this in place with one hand and figured out the best way to hook up my ground wire and and went to it but so I want to make this a little better so I think maybe I can use just some regular wood screws here to on either end and keep it tight when I weld it up surfaces are close enough together where I could weld. So maybe I'll just set this all up right now before I break out the welder. Probably where my round bar is going to go, right here, just like that. I don't really know the specifics, but what I've heard is uh, very dangerous to weld galvanized steel without a respirator. I, I hear it gives off poison gas, so I want to make sure that keep everything safe. I'm going to wear a respirator for this. All right, let's give it a shot. Hope I'm not wearing this respirator for nothing, but better safe than sorry. So I can't put my mask down with the respirator. <laughs> Maybe I can. Let me see what let me see what I can do to make this work. Maybe I could just hold it in front of me like that. I know some of the. That's what they use it a lot here in the Philippines is a handheld mask for your eyes, but the 
Oops. That's how it turned out for the first part. Now I'm just going to flip it over and just weld the other side. This one's a little crooked, this one, but it'll be alright. So what I plan to do, and I did this to the prototype one, I, after everything was welded, I sandblasted it, just to give it kind of a matte finish. And then I'm going to put some, uh, some oil. I'm going to put a little boiled linseed oil on it after I sandblast it. Give it kind of the same look as the other shelves in here. Let's go finish up the, the rest of the welding. Something like this is what it's going to look like. And it's kind of ugly right now, but I think after I sandblast it and oil it, it's going to look a little better. Now the real tricky part is going to be creating the fish hook. See how we can do that. Based on the prototype, I need six inches between these two. So I think I need more links. I've got another link here. I hate to use so many half links, but part of the part of the project is that this is just scrap. So rather than throw it away, I put it to use. So that's that should give me the six inches right there. It's not quite a fish hook, but <laughs> it's going to have to work. I never claimed to be a professional welder. I'm just learning as I go. But I think the the verdict on this is don't use galvanized chain. Just use a 
just bare mild steel chain link be a whole lot easier get a lot of smoke and it's just difficult to weld but it's there and I might have to make some adjustments once it's on the wall so let's take it to the uh, the, the sandblaster and, and blast it. So this is my blaster that I brought with me from the, from the US and I did a lot of modifications to this. Uh, the original light was terrible so I put a LED light inside. I changed out the glass. Over here glass is really cheap so I, I've got extras. So when it gets fouled up I just replace the glass. Uh, I got uh, new gloves, a new upgraded um, nozzle, but the main thing I did to this was uh, I converted it to a, I would say instead of a suction, it's more of a uh, gravity vacuum maybe, gravity suction. So what I did was Instead of having like 20 pounds of media in there, I just made a, a it all comes gravity fed through the hole into this Venturi and then right back up into the nozzle. So if you've seen one before that, that just uses suction, uh, you're always fiddling with that suction hose. Uh, sometimes it pops out of the media and you're just sucking air. But this way I can use probably just 10% of, you know, maybe three or four pounds of media instead of 15 or 20. And it just keeps recycling it through there. And also I, I rigged up a, uh, a vacuum uh, exhaust for it. So I've got a, a, a regular small vacuum into the dust deputy and the dust deputy uh, creates a vacuum in the chamber and all the debris goes in the dust deputy rather than the vacuum cleaner and then the exhaust air that comes out of the vacuum can sometimes always have uh, silica dust in it so it's kind of funny because I I routed it. This, this is supposed to be a sink right here. Well, it will be later on. So I routed my dust into the sink drain, which goes right under the floor here out to the culvert. So that's pretty cool now. You know, it's, it's a happy accident that I was able to use that drain to port all my dust outside. So when I plug it in here, everything's to 220. And my light comes on, as well as my vacuum is, is plugged in there. So let's go ahead and blast. Let's see what it looks like. It looks a lot better. All that black soot's gone. And it's got a nice matte finish on it. I was debating whether to paint it or just use the oil. I think I'm going to stick with the oil. So now I'm just going to go rinse it off, 
let it dry and then oil it, oil it up. Well, well, we'll test fit it first, then we'll oil it up before we attach it to the wall. All right, so I've got the uh, the holder outside. I put a little bit of oil on it and let let that drain. But in the meantime, I'll show you the the first prototype. This is this is what I did a couple of days ago. I just did this on the fly without any measuring or anything, but it worked out for one of my helmets. And it looks really good. So now I'm gonna drill, drill a hole here for the anchor bolt. I've got my anchor bolt in. Something like this. So this is somewhat what it's going to look like. I need to tighten it down. Back here it looks pretty pretty good can't really tell it's kind of canted towards the right as I look at it the top one so that's it the uh, they turned out much different if you if you can tell the one on top that we made today is a lot longer and then the prototype so I didn't really try to make them the same but I didn't know it was going to be that much out anyway that's uh it's a good use of uh, extra chain that I used that I didn't have to throw away and I freed up a whole shelf on the other wall where we were putting these helmets so let me know what you think in the comments problem found problem solved see you next time